So we're on top, and last time we threw a half on the guy, he spun us over and made us look really stupid. So next round of the tournament, we're like, well, all right, I'm not gonna throw a half on him this time, but I wanna try and get this guy, so what am I gonna do? So he turtles up. Oh, God damn it, he's one of these guys. All right. <laughs> But he's got pretty good base, so he moves around and he turtles back up again. He's not giving me a whole lot. All right, well, I think I have a way to open him up. So, we're here. My elbow is gonna go right into his back and his head pops up. I keep this here, this hand has to cross face and it's, gonna, it's gotta make him meet. In fact, you know, I mean, I need you for this. I can, feel, I can feel his vertebrae are like an old oak tree, just creaking and yelling at me the whole time. So we're here, dig in, across, but here's the thing that locks it up tight. If I try to make my hands meet, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put that pressure on a mean. I need to get his head turned as much as possible and locked. This is a lock, a face lock, not a face grab, not a face slight molestation. <laughs> this is, you know, face lock. So you want to find that sweet spot, dig it in, and when you come, this hand just stays here and this hand just says hello and meets it, okay? Now, if, if Mimi was to sit right here and I just kept, and I rotated my wrist, yeah. But what it's gonna happen is he's gonna go, man, that sucks, he's gonna start to try and turn. So you have to rotate him and stick with it. Now, if I stay here, I can kind of crank on him, but he's only tapping because we're just doing a seminar. Fameen's thinking, to hell with you. There's no way I'm losing. He's not gonna tap to this. It's just not gonna be enough. So I have to find a way to create more pressure, more, more power in this hold. And the way this hold works best is it's not about just the turning. Once you've turned the neck, it can't go up and down. Once the neck's all the way up or all the way down, it doesn't really turn. It only has so much range of motion. So in this case, neck is turned. So now I want to push it down. How can I push it down effectively? Well, if I start going over the top of him, I'm really out of balance and well, I start falling over. That's no good. So what I really have to do is I have to pull him back and create space. Now his core is trying to hold himself up. He's basically off balance and if I'm not holding him up, he would fall over. Well, he's really strong, so probably not, but. <laughs> uh, the other thing is my shoulder is then gonna do the work and gravity is gonna help me with this. So as he's falling, see, his neck is straight up and down right now. If I pull him back and pull him back and pull him back and pull him back, gravity, it creates that impingement. So I'm locked here. My shoulder is behind the top of his, around the crown of his skull. This is around on the jaw and we're locked in tight. So as I bring him back, you see the space between us allows me to drive forward and then get that neck lock. He's turtled up. We find a sweet spot, come across, make him meet. The pressure helps us to turn him and then look at my feet, what I'm doing. I give myself space. He can be up on one foot and my shoulder is driving forward as my lock is sucking up like this with short arms. And how hard did I apply that? It doesn't, you guys don't need to apply any real strength. All you need to do is keep your grip tight, ease into it. Keep their chin fully turned, then just ease into the lock. And they'll let you know. Simple as that. Take it that slow. Other key thing about this, back to your turtle. If I don't put my elbow in the right spot, you know, he's not gonna lift his head. So try to find it. Partner, tell them what feels best, or really worse. Got it? All right, one, two.